Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing a flight uh, near this uh, seaside. Uh, there's some building over there which I'll take the uh, Hubson Ace Pro and go and have a look because uh, it's quite windy. So I believe this drone is, could handle pretty much any weather, especially a uh, high wind situation. So let's uh, bring this drone out and uh, do some exploration on this area. So that is the sea, so I'll just head over to a different area over there to have a look. So let me do the recording. So I have the ND filter on and I'm shooting at uh, say if we can do 1 over 60 of a second and I'll try to go with uh, what do you call this? without HDR because HDR makes the image much more brighter and uh, yeah, I'll shoot in let me do some settings first a bit red I'll pull it up a little bit and I'll try to go with 100 ISO at 1 over 60 so this looks perfect on a ND16 filter so let's go Just now when we got here, uh, the battery kind of run off. Ah no, the uh, SD card, uh, the internal memory means I'm shooting right into the internal memory of this drone. This drone comes with 64 gigs of memory, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but only thing is that I forgot to clear it off uh, the day before. So got it out and I uh, did not clear the uh, memory so it looks nice let's try to orbit this area I might grab some attention because this drone is pretty noisy this drone would make a lot of noise but what I like about this is that you can fly in very windy condition. Like you don't really have to worry about uh, too much on the, the area unless it's raining. But uh, it's not likely you fly when it's raining. So let's uh, move forward and uh, we'll take another shot that is close up a little bit. up the drone wow 
looks nice. I mean, it'll look even nicer after color correction. But the footage I'm seeing here is terrible because it's uh, it's in lock. So yeah, we can't expect much from a lock file because uh, we are. Okay, this is a good footage, I would say. So maybe we'll shoot another video. I'll cut this later on and make it like... It'll be pretty nice after editing this. One second, let me uh, make sure the stick movement is uh, slowed down because the joystick is moving too fast. So, pitch speed, I need to adjust it lower, maybe to 5 or 6. I think I like 6. 5. 5 should be okay. Come on. Let me do 5. Yes. Pitch smoothness. And let's go by 2. Okay, let's uh, continue on. So, you're just shooting, you're flying in normal mode. So I'll do a video just on that, compiling these uh, two, two drones uh, which I've flown, the Hotel Light Plus and the Hubson, Zine, uh, Hubson Ace Pro video just on this area. I'll speed up this. So let's fly in sport mode. And we'll orbit this manually manually orbit this area you can see the pitch smoothness has been increased uh, improved look how nice wow I like how after changing the pitch kind of looks nice huh And this is in sport mode. Okay, let's go forward. Continue on. We because this drone doesn't have a very good. Uh, oh no! I forgot to do a screen recording. So sorry about that. Oh 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 oh! Sport mode is. Uh, too much for this let's uh, do a normal mode because the gimbal kind of shake when you're facing the wind especially we are flying here in an area where uh, there's a high wind so in normal mode shouldn't be much issue okay I'm having some breakup no no breakup The VTX is definitely not very uh, smooth, but uh, but because I'm not flying very high and I'm two kilometer away, man, so maybe this is understandable. And I'm flying pretty low at about just forty meter. I mean, previously I wasn't so comfortable flying like such low altitude, but uh, after flying some FPV drone for some time and getting used to uh, all the stick control, and of course taking some classes, uh, it does help me improve my uh, skills in uh, doing photos, uh, doing some stick movement control on my drone. Battery warning. The drone is under return uh, to home soon. Let's, uh, okay, we should return because it's warning us that if we don't, 
we might have issue retrieving this so hey kind of return for me I'll return myself since I have about 54% battery left yeah this drone has the, the biggest limitation is that the uh, battery life is very limited this drone only weights about half a kilogram oh there's one more well I need to take a video of this well See what's here. Having good range on drone is pretty important these days because if I were to fly right over here, I mean take off from this area where uh, this become my starting point and I, I believe all the guards will ask me to uh, not, not fly my drone but since I'm hiding hiding somewhere and, uh, it does help a little bit so that I can still film and uh, do some videos I mean it's not illegal just that they people won't like having a drone flying over their vicinity Kind of avoid these people. Yeah, that guy kind of noticed me, right? I know the drone is under return to home soon. Let's uh, turn over this area. As long as we are higher than this building is okay. Smoothness is still a bit off, uh, off from what I like. So I believe this area after finishing development should be very nice. Okay, I'm uh, returning soon. 
and I'll try to lower the drone as I'm descending I still have about 37% battery plenty of battery I think this area is pretty nice for me to fly my drone and nobody disturbs me here Okay, I think I'm... Where am I? Let me see. Oh, I'm here. So there's a building here. There's a house here. Well, there are people actually living in this area. Okay, let's uh, bring it back and uh, call it a day for the Hubs and A's Pro. from a hundred meter away so this drone is actually pretty noisy like even hundred meter is uh, not good enough so stop recording and uh, I land it everything seems okay look at this I have the ND filter it looks pretty secure I do have an ND filter here. And this is from Sinova. Uh, it's a what do you call this? Can you see? Uh, this is ND16. Yeah. So, I'll touch on the uh, gimbal so that that's why saying that my gimbal is stuck. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.